It's a brand new day. day, day, day. What up YouTube, I'm back for another video and uh, i like to say hooray, I got another um, bulb for my strobe so now I got two lights illuminating me instead of one uh, light with the reflector bouncing and uh, it gives me a little more freedom to move even though it's not in the frame but yeah so last video I left you guys off with saying that I was getting the uh, Cyber Commander and the Cyber sync receiver so I can control my strobes independently uh, on top of camera and uh, I didn't get a chance to do an unboxing of that but I do have the boxes and I can show you the boxes and the items so that's what I'm going to do these are the boxes that they came in they're both identical both the same just that one box says cyber well CSR so that's the receiver that's the this is the box that the receiver came in I had two options oops I had two options of getting the battery powered um, receiver or the AC powered receiver I chose to go with the AC power simply be because um, I didn't want to have to worry about any extra batteries um, as a photographer, you, you deal with a lot of batteries, and I don't want to deal with um, any extra batteries if I could reduce that and not have to. So, this is the unit right here for the CyberSync. There it is. And then uh, you use it like so. You plug this into the uh, back of the strobe, and then this hangs, and then you plug the uh, AC wall part into the bottom of, of the, the unit and then uh, here's the cyber commander let's see yeah this is the cyber commander it has a light meter on the other side and uh, so that's one good thing about it it has it's you can control your strobes and you can meter the light and it's it's pretty accurate it's like um, about like a tenth of a stop difference from my uh, Sekonic light meter so yeah it's, it's still pretty close yeah so um, that's that like I said I didn't get a chance to do the unboxing because I had to shoot the next day and I wanted to get familiar with the equipment even though I've used the uh, Cyber Commander before I used it on Einstein's and the setup was a little bit different. Um, you put it on open memory and and put it on studio mode and it scans for all the Einsteins uh, on that frequency. But for alien bees, it's a little different. You have to um, go to spec lights and enter in the, which light that you're using in the modeling lab um, wattage and all that. So after doing that, I felt pretty comfortable with um, using it and I took it on the shoot the next day um, that shoot it was pretty good uh, it was scheduled in the morning it was supposed to be outdoors on location uh, I forgot the name of the wall um, it's this pink wall in LA I think it's Paul something place building uh, it's, a, it's a nice pink wall but we weren't able to shoot there because the manager said uh, we couldn't shoot there during business hours so we either had to come before business hours or shoot there after business hours and it was about uh, 10 30 11 o'clock yeah so um, yeah that day they opened at 11 so it was kind of like too late to go there and then um, so yeah so we ended up shooting at the model's place and uh, uh, she wanted the pink backdrop and I got a discount uh, with a backdrop so I just went to Sammy's and got a, a pink backdrop um, just a simple uh, about five foot backdrop wide five foot wide backdrop and um, that's what I used for the shoot and uh, it, it, it did pretty good um, 
the shoe was supposed to be for a uh, magazine submission, so because this model she just got signed to an agency and uh, she want um, she want to help uh, with uh, magazine submission and uh, pro portfolio um, images. So that's what I was able to provide for her, and it turned out to be a good business deal because uh, her roommate is actually a um, designer so he actually made the clothes that she uh, had on for the uh, shoot so I so by doing that I got a deal with him to uh, shoot his clothing line um, my lines I've been pretty busy lately so we're still like in the chatting phases um, back and forth but what I can do is show you guys some of the images from the shoot and I don't know how to do the uh, from the camera to the computer screen and back to the camera just yet. So in the meantime, till I figure that out, I'm just going to show you guys how I've been doing with the iPad, and um, I'll be making prints too. I had actually had another shoot on this past weekend, which was pretty well went pretty well, and uh, I have those uh, probably by the next video. I can show you guys those as well. And maybe I'll know how to do the little computer to camera thing by then. But here's um, some shots from the editorial shoot right here. This that. And we're going to go this way. If the color looks off, it's because, you know, this is uh, backlit, and yeah, so it's not going to be true, but you guys get the, um, get the, uh, you know, get the picture, <laughs> get it, but yeah, so, and then we had two looks, um, it had solid black and then the colorful, uh, African uh, look as well and uh, yes so this shoe went pretty well and uh, hopefully uh, I get some responses if not you know that's just how it goes and it's just something to uh, look forward to uh, submitting in the future so uh, that's that so that's all for this video and if you like the video, want more videos, uh, please subscribe, um, see current images uh, on my social media. I'm on Instagram at WNO Photography. Uh, I'm on Facebook, WNO Photography. Uh, Twitter, WNO underscore photography because someone else had uh, the other name. And so until the next video. Um, Peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe.